part two weight loss story. I'm gonna fill you guys in if you haven't seen part one, but if you wanna go check out part one, I'm gonna link it in the first link in the description, but you can also click this card to go to part one in another browser, and then you can come back and watch part two. But to fill you in and to recap from last week, I was 275 pounds and I lost my first 25 pounds using the Carb Night Solution. So here's a little picture of my fat, fat head. Uh, this is 275 pounds versus 230 pounds. So look at all that, look at all that face fat that I lost. Um, and then here's where we left off. This is a picture of me on a cliff in Aruba with my fat little belly hanging out. And this is at 250 pounds roughly. Uh, this is what I currently look like, 183 pounds as of this morning. In this picture, I'm like 185 pounds, but you get the picture. I went from fat to fit. So, uh, what is that? 5, 15, 90 pounds weight loss, basically. Um, so where we left off last time was, I was 250 pounds in Aruba. Uh, I lost my first 25 pounds using Carbonite Solution. And I'm going to answer a couple questions uh, that I've been getting on the diet. So some common questions I've been getting is, what was my diet like? What did I eat daily? Um, why can you only have 30 grams or less of carbohydrates? And is it okay to do crazy cheat days every weekend? So on the Carbonite Solution, if you wanna buy the book, I'll link it down below again. But Carbonite Solution is 30 grams or less of carbohydrates a day. And that's, not, that's really not carbohydrates. Uh, it's basically coming from your, your vegetables. Uh, some layover carbs from your nuts, seeds, avocados, things like that. Um, you don't want to have any sort of carbohydrates at all. So you're not having like little nibbles of, of bread or oatmeal or anything like that. It's literally just protein, vegetables, water. Uh, that, uh, sorry, protein, vegetables, water, and fat. And that's pretty much it. That's all that's in this diet. So for example, a full day, uh, breakfast would be protein, uh, like whey protein blended up with coconut oil and heavy cream and coffee. So it's like a, like a coffee blended protein, almost like a, um, a bulletproof coffee. But uh, yeah, so I'd have that in the morning. So that got my protein, my fat, um, my protein, my fat, and my caffeine for the morning. So I'm caffeinated, I got my protein and my fat in. And a lot of my fat, was coming from coconut oil because I had to eat 300 grams at the start of fat. Um, so my next meal would be eggs and I would have like five or six whole eggs because I'm going for protein and fat, right? I would cook it in coconut oil. So I'm frying it up in cook, uh, coconut oil. I'm putting vegetables on top of the eggs and then uh, putting cheese on top. So protein, fat, vegetables, and then I'm having water for uh, my liquid, my fluids basically. Um, Pre-workout, you can't have any kind of pre-workout or BCAs or anything like that on this diet. You can't even have gum. So uh, actually one downside of this diet is that you get bad breath because uh, when you're in ketosis, uh, long story short, you get bad breath. So just be aware of that. There's some mints that you can have, but um, if you buy the book, it'll link which ones you can have. I think you can have like the Altoid um, mints. But um, pre-workout was just protein, coffee, uh, and coconut oil again. So same thing as my, uh, my morning coffee, I would have that as my pre-workout kind of shake. So I kind of got the caffeine fix and the coconut oil is a fast acting fat. So that was uh, fueling my workouts. And that was pretty much it. So, and you're only drinking water. I can't like stress that enough. You can't have Gatorade. You can't have low calorie like Crystal Light or Propel like um, mixes. You can't have any of that uh, because you'll spike your insulin and you want to not, you don't want to spike your insulin until the actual carb night. So again, the first 10 days is like a 10 day protocol. You have your carb night, uh, which is like high glycemic carbs, rice, french fries, pizza, donuts, baked goods, things like that. The next day when you wake up, you'll have a little bit of bloat and that's just water weight. Uh, that'll take like a day or two to um, kind of get through your system. And then you go another six to seven days uh, on your ketogenic diet and then you have your carbonate and then just keep repeating that process. And 
as you saw in the last um, episode, part one, I lost. Two, I went from 275 to 250. I lost 25 pounds over four months, which is actually a, a pretty fast weight loss. Um, you only want to lose one to two pounds when you're dieting, uh, and that's to maintain as much muscle mass as possible. So on the second part of this story, I went from 250 down to 200 and actually 25 pounds. So another 25 pounds weight loss, but this, this time it only took me like three months to lose 25 pounds, and this is why. Second time around doing this carb night for my second 25 pounds, I adjusted some things. So with the diet, I started out with 300 grams of fat, 300 grams of protein, and 30 grams or less of carbohydrates. The second time around, I really went lower on the calories. So I think that 300, 330 comes out to like 4,000 calories. Um, so I changed my diet to like, I think it was 225, 225, and 30, which is like, I wanna say 2,800 or 30 something. Uh, so around, let's say 3,000 calories. I didn't, I didn't do the calculation in my head, but say 3,000 calories, so I knocked off a bunch of calories. So I'm further um, into a caloric deficit, and I'm adding in a little bit more metabolic conditioning, uh, cardio, jump rope, walking, um, and this is the main thing. Uh, every morning, I would wake up, and before I had that protein, coffee, fat um, mixture, I would go on a like three mile uh, walk. Actually, I think I remember sometimes even going like six miles. Um, but I woke up, I went for a walk, and then I came back. So it was a little bit of a fasted cardio in the morning. And if you're on your weight loss journey, you're trying to add in new things, I would highly suggest doing uh, fasted cardio. And going to the gym in the morning is kind of a pain in the butt. So just walk out your door, have your headphones in, listen to a podcast or something, and just go for a walk. So you walk like a mile or two miles, you turn around, you come back, and it should only take you like 30 minutes or something like that. So a little bit of fasted cardio, then you have your first meal. So uh, adding in that cardio every single day, adding in jumping rope uh, as my like workout warm up, uh, and then a lot of high intensity, high rep, high volume workouts. So as you know, I was training for strongman as a heavyweight, and then I was transitioning into a lightweight strongman. So the things I changed with my um, training was I was still doing powerlifting, I was still doing strongman training, strongman event training, so uh, log press, axle press, uh, squats, bench, deadlift, um, atlas stone carry, keg carry, all those crazy uh, strongman events, but I was adding in a lot more volume. So I wasn't concerned too much with how much weight I was moving, but uh, I was adding in more volume. So a lot more reps, a lot more sets, a lot less rest in between my sets. So like when I was 275, I would rest like three to four minutes in between each set. So I'd basically do a set, I would sit down, I would breathe really, really heavy, catch my breath for four minutes, and then do another set. And then I think I chopped that like almost in half. So I was only resting like two minutes, and I was doing more things like uh, one minute AMRAPs of, of deadlifts, one minute AMRAPs of push press, one minute AMRAPs of stone over the bar, things like that. So I was adding in a lot more volume. Uh, so with the added cardio, the added volume, the caloric deficit, I went from 250 down to 225. So here's a fat selfie picture of myself. Um, <laughs> this is like, I think this is, did we have Instagram then? I think I was 21, um, but I'm in my mom's bathroom or something like that. So you can see like my chest is really wide, my stomach is really wide, I kind of look like a box. Um, I have a lot of lower belly fat. Um, but uh, if you remember the first picture, I'll show you the first picture when I'm on that cliff, my belly is like hanging over my pants. I'm a lot leaner and I'm kind of like getting more toned, more of like my physique is showing through a little bit more. So here's more bathroom selfies. Um, and then this is, so this is like 245 pounds and then this is 235 pounds. So my stomach's a lot leaner. Um, I'm kind of getting more toned. You can see like my shoulders, my biceps, my triceps coming out a little bit more. 
Um, so a lot leaner. Um, da -dun, da -dun. Here's some pictures of me and Jennifer. My face is getting a little bit leaner. You can kind of see my dimples actually coming through. And in this final picture, I'm 225. Um, and I'm a lot skinnier. So here's a really, um, I have this on my Instagram. If you wanna go check it out, I'll put my Instagram right here. But this is a 880 pound yoke carry. I was either 225 or 230 pounds at the time. And this is when I was getting ready for my first lightweight strongman uh, competition. So crazy amount of weight. I'm still moving a lot of weight here, but only at 225, 230 pounds body weight. Uh, here's a 800 pound tire flip. So this event for tire flips, it was uh, a one minute AMRAP basically. One minute to get as many flips as possible. I wanna say I got like 12 or 14. Um, this picture is a keg race medley. So there's three kegs. You have to basically pick up one keg, go 50 feet, run back, pick up the second keg, which is like 250, I think it was 225, 250, 275. And I remember this event uh, exactly because I was so out of breath running back to get the second keg and a third keg. Like my cardio was, was still awful. Um, and then this next picture is when I'm getting ready for my second lightweight strongman competition. And I'm, I shaved my head, shaved my beard, so I look a lot leaner. Uh, but here's a stone, uh, Atlas stone over the bar event. So you basically pick up a 300 pound stone you throw it over a 52 inch bar, uh, and then the, the judge will throw you back the stone. You gotta pick it back up, put it over the bar. Another 60 minute AMRAP. Uh, so basically going for reps. And I think, I think the guy that won got like 16 or something reps. I think I got like maybe 10. Uh, here's a picture of me next to one of my friends that did the women's strongman competition. Um, but yeah, you can see in this picture, I kind of look like weird. My body looks like it shrunk a lot. My shirt's all baggy, my shorts are baggy. Um, but that's how I went from 250 down to 225. And in part three, we're gonna discuss how Olympic weightlifting and CrossFit completely changed my training, my diet, and basically my entire life. But here's a picture of my first 225 pound snatch at 225 pounds. Um, but this is basically the full transformation picture right here. This is me at 250 and then here's me at 225. Actually, I might be 220 in this picture. And then this is me at 185 and 220. So you can see the huge difference in conditioning, muscle mass, uh, and just total physique. So part three will be how I, how, how I transferred from strongman in powerlifting to a Olympic weightlifter for, I went, I did an Olympic weightlifting for a whole year and then I went from Olympic weightlifting to full on, full force CrossFit and how basically that changed my entire life and how I lost 20, another 35 pounds. So I completely changed the diet, I'll let you know, a little sneak peek, I changed my diet completely, obviously changed my, changed my training completely uh, and it completely changed my life. So part three will be sometime next week. But if you enjoyed this content, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions on a ketogenic diet or carb night solution. Um, if you're on your weight loss journey, have questions, you want uh, some guidance, comment down below. I'll be ha happy to help. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you want to see more videos like this, uh, this little button right here, this red box, Click that to subscribe for more videos like this. But thanks for watching. Hopefully that was entertaining and not boring. And we'll see you guys, oh, we'll actually see you guys tomorrow for the epic tasty treat cheat day. And I'm feeling